scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Yes. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted. You know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1. And verse 6. That the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what? Acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing god does lord i had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria father yesterday you prayed about those i can hear with your right ear after the prayer i was able to hear couldn't hear with your right ear you're sure how long 20 years now um how old are you now do you mind hallelujah interesting and and for that long for 20 years what happened just that pain in me and, and that was it and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the same way the lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of jesus christ give jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the lord Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we we're discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Now, while Jesus was on earth, please follow me carefully. While Jesus was on earth, the Bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life. He lived a life of power. He lived a life of intelligence. He lived a life of grace. He lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 
Jesus began to tell us, please listen, that he was going to introduce us to another comforter, another helper. Now, most believers read this and they just think that, okay, he was just talking to Pentecostals. Please listen. You have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense. Are we together? Those outside, are we together? And so Jesus said to them, I have many things to tell you now, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he says he will guide you. Notice now, Jesus is teaching. He will guide you into all truth. He will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you. The Bible said it's the Holy Spirit that convicts the world. Do you know one of the things that I've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never, never change people. Are we together? The disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of Jesus. And even when he resurrected, the Bible says some doubted. They saw the sick healed. They saw the dead raised. They saw whatever would happen, happen. But they had the effrontery to doubt Jesus. The scribes and the Pharisees, they were represented at every crusade. Yet, with what they saw, they still doubted Jesus. Without the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is no genuine conviction. That's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles. Carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves. They are celebrators of the finger of God, but they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now? Jesus said it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying come. Jesus was saying hitherto I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind. Heteros, where we get heterogeneous, means of another kind, another species. So another person is coming and he is no different from who I am in terms of ability, in terms of purpose, in terms of function. It says when he comes, he will continue my ministry. Everybody say continue my ministry. So the Holy Spirit today represents to the body of Christ what Jesus represented to the apostles. Are we together? Most people, Jesus help me. Jesus save me. I know that it looks emotional. But Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. Making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never 
become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity. When I talk of demonstration, I don't mean falling down and rolling. No, I'm talking about the life-producing power. It says, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but the demonstration of power, that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men, Sophia, but on the power of God. We have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people. And we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what? how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience? There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, Now the earth was dark and formless and all of that. Just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, family scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, He's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, Let there be. And there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came 
So you go to the Holy Spirit and say, Spirit of the living God, this joblessness, you represent Jesus to me. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes, there are deaf ears, there are all kinds of people. The power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about power shortly. But I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit. It has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality, but that you can come to the Holy Spirit. Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face. Like some of you have friends. You've had friends for years. You've never seen their faces. Yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses. You know when they are angry. You know where they are happy. Yet everything was through chatting. It is possible to know a man without seeing his face. Hmm. How could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do in that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go, two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe, I have experience, I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing, but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You are brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. 
you see li listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy i'm telling you this listen to what i'm telling you if you are a man of god here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of god upon your life listen twice close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration i know this about him he's brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark Lord you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark I remember in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you it was a vision this is where this ministry was birthed by sunday koinonia will be seven uh, seven anniversary of koinonia but let me tell you this i remember i was standing in that vision i was standing and i saw a whole generation of people they were crying it was fear that took me there to that building and i stood i was watching i could not see the end of the people and i said what is this and then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building I remember one time I he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and I said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please I, I i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him 
I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smells you, even to the father's part, they said they shall call you. You won't call yourself. They shall call you ministers of our God. There will be an evidence of his hand upon your life. I remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman. Then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet. Confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was healed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. All these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You would die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding yeah, over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when God visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking leave the issue of finances let me walk on you otherwise the finance thing would kill you there are people where you start with God there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with God you will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church with teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to work on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself and you will be afraid. You say, Lord, is this what you planned? Look at a poor village girl like me. Look at a poor village boy like me. And he says, that's exactly what I want to do. To show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels. To show that I can take the weak things. Oh God, I'm a poor girl from Kaduna State somewhere. Lord, I'm an illiterate somewhere in the south. He says, don't worry. Hold my hands. Don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are over every darkness. You are causing, you are causing light. light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, 
they are still suffering some of them are not even in the faith again please hear me koinonia let's settle down with the holy spirit let not just because you are a leader not just because you are a worker settle down with the holy spirit and say holy spirit i'm not in a rush with you do with me whatever jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become the holy spirit will turn your life around turn your wilderness you will look at yourself one day and say is this me lord what is this that you have done when gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and I will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And I will cut them off. I'm giving you victory, but that victory will be through divine direction. We will go step by step, guidance by guidance, place by place. Notice how God led people in scripture, He took them from one place, they would conquer this land, then they would go to this land. Many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel 
that my job is in UK. You go to UK and live like a thief there. Whereas God has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are, he will lift you. But because he could not direct you, there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to America, by running to wherever, or running to Abuja, running to different places, divine direction. When God directs you, it was never my intention to still be in Zaria at this time. No. As wonderful as it is, if it were on my own, I would prefer to be somewhere, maybe in one of the cities around the world. But divine direction, divine direction. When you read Genesis chapter 26, the Bible says, and Isaac sowed in that land. I'm sure that Isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and God said, no, 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 no. For others, they can go. But for you, the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction. We do not respect his leadership. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. There are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the Holy Spirit. very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind this saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when he turn to the right and when he turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving. You move because my word is moving you. So even when you think you are standing in one place, it says you are moving. Because when you turn, you see that you have gotten there. You shall hear a voice from behind you. Hear me, people of God. You shall hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way. Oh, you have a job, but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction 
let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow. I keep quiet and hear you. If you stop there, you didn't hear God. Because the Spirit of God will never stop there. If it is, it may be true that you saw an attack, but then continue it to prove that it is God. I saw an accident, but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it. But I saw an accident and that's it. No, sir. No, sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i uh -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated there and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people. I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. 
but please let's be careful because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of satan we get up and we hate everybody we hate every man of god every woman of god because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell he said even if an angel brings another gospel that means satan can masquerade as an angel of light It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here. And the goat is blinking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray. That, oh God superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry I remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean if you give free materials like your salmon and the rest there may not be any other avenue for revenue there are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing you must receive a divine strategy lord in this marriage what is the strategy for training our children in this marriage what is the strategy for living in peace you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this or it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear i've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply 
and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabala kotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 he says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a sent one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter 1 and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargons he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired 
I made up my mind that I will never be a powerless man of God. When you are a powerless man of God, you are not only bad, you are wicked. Because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men. Jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree. He ran and came there and stood. Where is the fruit? And the tree said, sorry. He says, come. And Jesus cursed it in anger. And said, no fruit will come out of you again. Tonight we need power, brothers and sisters. We live in a wicked world. There are some of you here in your whole family. You are the first that will rise. It takes power to rise. There are families that when you rise, an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit. And there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men. They dare not hear that you want to rise. He's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say, I heard that you are going to London. Say, by the grace of God, uncle. Say, congratulations. You shake his hand and they just call you somewhere. You wake up the next day, one leg cannot walk. The other day, your ears cannot hear well. Are we together? By the Friday, your passport is missing. Powers. He said, through the greatness of thy power, every village, including my own, has witches and wizards. They know I'm on earth. It's not that they love to leave me to do ministry. Power. Power. Kabbalah Kotaya. He said, behold, I give you power. Exousia. Power. Step into my shoes. Step into my office. Listen, I'm trusting God that after tonight, you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers. There are some of you who cannot go to the village. The last time you went, what happened to you? Even you, you were scared. But now, you go to the village and overnight, in three hours, you hear that things have... You were not praying, no. You carried something mysterious to that village. Two weeks after your arrival, you see five buildings springing up. A development that the devil has refused. Anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes. After two days, he's sleeping and he dies. Come on now. The devil deceives you. Listen, I have studied Satan carefully because I didn't like the way I was afraid of him. My fear of Satan was getting too bad. And I said, no, I can't be afraid of Satan like this. I need to settle down and study him. One of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear. And look at it and say, what is in this thing? Really, what is in it? What is in Satan that threatens people? I have found out the strength of Satan is ignorance. Satan works with information. He plants that seed to you. So a spirit, you are sleeping in your house. And you hear something on your zinc. That's Satan now. He knows. And watch what he begins to do. He used that experience to plant pictures in your mind. What could be there? Hi, an arm robber is there. No, not an arm robber. The other day, that's how my grandfather said, anytime you hear that sound, barrenness is inevitable. Any, and listen, he's working with your mind. You are, you are having faith in that thing. The moment your faith is there, because whoever believes there shall be a performance. It doesn't matter what you believe. You hear that thing in your zinc and get up. He that cometh from above is above all. Jacos kata prakata ziata. Let me tell you the truth. The devil will go back. There are demons when they send them to people, they disobey. Say, no, no, no. No. They disobey. The implication, the risk involved in that espionage is too risky. devilish habal is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. 
so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level I say, ah, Luther continua. Victoria is scattered. That's a cause. Never say that thing. The Bible said the path of the just. It takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in. Someone just sees you and say, uh-uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. What audacity do you have to say you will feed us? There are families where it's the women that feed the men. Do you know that? No matter how hard working, you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encounter the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people i have seen people change in supernatural ways 
this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was right i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it god has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the mimshak anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times i've had these testimonies some of you listening know it's true how many times angel appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave they come as human beings a service is going on or after a service give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go angels don't just act as if they are foolish they act in response to what the holy spirit tells them the anointing is the director of how and why angels function understand this is working in me is working in me it's God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me listen the third thing this anointing will give you 
is unusual influence please believe it influence is not something you bully people to get influence is not an issue of age influence is not even an issue of i've traveled abroad there is an oil there is a grace he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness even god thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last one but god gives you a voice listen you know one man of god was talking to me one time and said apostle how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands and i tell him you can't look for those people by putting cv there is an anointing that draws people that draws a kind of people you will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry it's not pride i'm telling you the secret today it's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good come no there is an anointing that brings them when that anointing comes upon you god can bring just five people to your life that will give you what ten thousand people cannot give it's not always about quantity it's about quality god will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life the grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i, I don't play child's play all that one is, is 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 complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalists and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah hey, Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um 
for Lord Rinsho Alakija or snapping with this person and they say, oh, you mean this guy? He has met the vice president. He has met this. All those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing. If this thing is on you, ba, it's on you, period. If it's not on you, it's not there. It's as simple as that. It's not about all this manipulation. And so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say, great is thy faithfulness. It's not your car. You are looking for respect. No. Or you go and steal the picture of a crowd. I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. Please don't get me wrong. And say, well, there is a revival, revival, revival. And you carry another man's crowd and put, and put pictures of somebody holding crutches. Whereas, it's, why fake what can be real in your life? There is a grace for influence. Lucifer carried it. The anointed cherub that covereth. He can cover a territory with his ideologies. I have seen people on this earth with that anointing. I have seen business people with that anointing. I have seen families with that anointing. Heal song. That's the anointing working there. You see those young boys just strumming their guitar. Yet you don't know what takes them all over the world. There are people carrying that grace. Joyce Mayer, you listen to her and you are sleeping. Yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village. You go to your village and see somebody reading the book. And you are wondering and say, my cassette, my, my what they call it, my, my CD. I waxed an album. I'm just a few kilometers to my village. It refused to enter there. There is an anointing. Mimshak. The strange grace. That's what happens to the messages. That's what happens to what God is doing in this ministry. Do you believe that this can come upon you? Yes, sir. Can come upon you. Number what now? The fourth anointing that I believe and I trust God, I trust God with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that God will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the, the public relations department this year and I remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love God and they are filled with the Holy Spirit but probably they did not they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the Red Sea there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister I hear you attend koinonia I cannot meet apostle but I hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and you say father I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman I hear that supernaturally they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow I agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert 500,000 dot she will run to you and say woman of God what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of God to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say I came back from an impartation in Koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus I agree with you I agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches 
and God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry. And it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life. That your prayer's time will be spent worshipping God. Not saying, oh God, this rent. Oh God, tea. Oh God, there is no sugar. And you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries. Oh, 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 oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. Oh.
this is how it works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus tonight I declare that I'm tired of my current level I'm tired of where I am I'm tired of where my family has been kept tonight by your anointing lift me to a new dimension open your mouth and begin to pray new dimension in ministry new dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray Shakata pata kete da banata, pata reto wata lata keta. Shakata pata, shakata kete, shapata keto kete, shalata reto wapa, para kete, shakete kete, kete berata, kete 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 ka. hallelujah Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day tonight is that day and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from up your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every cause every, every yoke every, every spell Every enchantment, every enchantment over my life, over my, life, over my, family, over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the anointing, that by the anointing it is broken forever. It is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Oh, you're breaking. Shabbat 
Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the finished work of Christ, I declare to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe, every covenant, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life i exempt myself lift your voice and pray every covenant every enchantment please pray pray in Paramado, in Paragada, in the Democosa, in Totopete, in the Macabado, in Rabado, in Palagado, Kata, in the Palabado, in Tapalabadabadabadaba, in Kato Kapalagadea, in Topalate, in Pata, in Paragade, in Talabacosa, in Palabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabad
every access every access that left my life that left my life by the anointing by, by the anointing i call you back i call you lift back. your voice and begin to pray <laughs> Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible say immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You're sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till 
the end of CGC fence. Overflow three is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow four is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other streets there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like, put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me and let God surprise you tonight. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch, it will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction. Forget about this is not husband and wife now. This is you standing between you and God. This is not neighbor. We came brothers and sisters. Leave anyone you came with. This is your destiny with God. Now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now. It's at this time where he told Elijah, if you can see. He was looking, but he said, if you can see. There are some of you, as this oil comes upon you, all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is, there are five, five, so we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough. They have been trained. Everybody will receive of the oil, especially for overflow four and five. Please, our securities, please help us so that we don't have any chaos. Everybody just be patient. The oil will get to you. Don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone. Be patient. Be patient. If you have a bottle of oil after service, I can pray for you on it. But for now, just cooperate. Please, let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting. Just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done. While all of that is happening, the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus. Now, Pastor Jimmy will be here. He'll be standing here. Victor, 
um, the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um, just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we're coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, 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 holy.
I'm moving forward strangely manifesting the glory of God defying all the laws of men defying the expectations of men rising by the spirit rising by the anointing rising by the spirit don't be tired of praying something is happening to you something is happening to you prophesy over your finances prophesy over your health the word of the lord is upon you the word of the lord is upon you no devil can stand this impartation the word of the lord is upon you no cause no spell no divination no enchantment we are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living god the word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You are doing something to your spirit man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders are being created. Bridging your expectation and your results. Outside pray. Those online. Use the oil you have upon your head. And that of your family members. And begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I man.
Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. Any point of contact. Your document, certificate, whatever it is. Job, sack letter, court case letter, whatever it is. He said, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Let your request. I want to pray for you. Listen. Let me tell you this. I have learned by the Spirit. If you don't have any point of contact, you can use your hand. Your hand is the symbol of your work. Your hand is the symbol of your productivity. I have learned that everything on earth can hear. It just depends on who is speaking. Are we together? God has not called you. I know for many of us, this thing looks like is some form of, for many of us, this looks like it is some form of nonsense. Others will watch and laugh. And you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world, it's not too late. If there is nothing, write your challenge and lift it before God. And say, Lord, this thing is not giving me joy. Your certificate, whatever it is. There's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it. Please make sure you participate. All the overflows. I want to pray. I want you to believe. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please just believe this once. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree I speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of Jesus I command speed upon that document in the name of Jesus Christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ For some of you that which you are lifting 
is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level i 
and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of result a strange change of result a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command a sword of vengeance tonight i command a sword of vengeance tonight whoever has ignored you and trivialize the hand of god upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of god upon your life in the name of jesus christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break 
I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names. Every family in Koinonia here that is shaking. The devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family. I curse them right now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. If there is anyone called Barin, you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child. Not tomorrow, tonight, your baby begins to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for influence. We are rounding up. I believe in influence. Don't reject it. Don't fight it. Don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you. Influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances. I decree and declare, wherever you find your place, I command you to rise above your equals. Rise above your contemporaries. As a lecturer, rise above your equals. As a banker, rise above your equals. As a student, rise above your equals. They will seek counsel from you. They will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for our finances. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. Listen. Listen. We are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry we are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if i've been nice to you you can say ah apostle you changed my life take time naira there is a reason why you blessed what? you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love esau i hated you can be sitting down and god will raise somebody to rise up listen not only bless you once but say i want to make this an addiction a habit to bless you are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have seen the money that came through your skill congratulations where is the one that came through the finger of god you should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because i got a good job thank god for that this one came because i blessed a life i paid a graduate a student school fees now he's working and he has come back to say thank you this one came because i have a child the child has become responsible and he has come back to say mama na go day but show me the one that came from the finger of god that you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project 
CGC, you can see this, this, this is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us. And honestly, I didn't even plan this with any of them. I've not even seen the pastor. As I just said this now, everybody should be a part of this. I know what the ministry, Koinonia, will do. I know what as a person I will do. I'm encouraging you. You can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service. And you can discuss with them, how do I get my seed? 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, a million, whatever amount. And say, look, I want my seed to be here. By the grace of God, they are not looking for money to do this. God has been faithful. And they have been, you can see the items that they are. It's just, I'm sure because of this program, they decided to suspend what they are doing. I'm just using an opportunity to tell you, whoever you are, make sure that you find a way of participating in this. But let me tell you this. There is the finger of God. And I want to pray this. Because some of our families, nobody even went to school. So there is no issue of saying, Lord, give them a job. You see mama of 70 years, which financial intelligence are you going to tell her? That our rewards in life, all that thing you are talking, she's just looking at you. What are you saying? My son, I am dying here. A landlord, a young boy of 25, wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years. By 9 o'clock tomorrow, mama, get out of my house. And she says, please help me. That one, you don't need a financial seminar. You need the finger of God. This is where most of our families are. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. I have seen this in my life. The finger of God was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life. The finger of God was designed to come through for you. Quarter to shame. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning from this night and all through this weekend. By men you do not know. And by those you already know, even if they have helped you before, I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I prophesy to you right now. Listen, I want you to believe me in the name of Jesus. A stranger you do not know. You don't even know how he got your account number. I compel them by the spirit to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there. Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails, that's death. Are we together? The sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said, Ah, there is death in this food. And Jesus said to her, I am what? What is resurrection? Bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again. Hallelujah. That for me is the definition of hope. Hope hope bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together I should have been a PhD holder now. But so, 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes. Listen to me. Jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive. This is good news. Are we together? So the Bible says, rejoice not over me, my enemies. You know my fall, but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection. Rejoice not over me. 
yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believed in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believed on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us 7 to 9 job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive let you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life he says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god i i, I know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake i know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming Hey, I hear the breakthrough coming. I hear the sound coming. Sound of abundance and joy. I see the lifting coming. Hey. Hold on. Listen. I tell you that the the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture. Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say, will she ever rise with this carryover? With 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease. We're reading to verse 9. 
though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet kabaratos kebranda katashiata hold on it didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and heat at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere and you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god where will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotabriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is i'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and God said, come down, Zacchaeus, it's your house I'm going. Let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house. And at once, Zacchaeus said, I will repay everybody. And Zacchaeus completely changed. Hear me? I came to preach to someone tonight. 
there is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life, Jesus the life. That everything that has died in a man's life can come alive. Even time can come alive. That's the God that we serve. Hear me. You have come tonight, some of us from far. Some of us from several things. And you have come to encounter Jesus, the life. The life-giving spirit. He can put life back to your finances. And the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you. Listen, 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 please. Let's not make this thing look as if we are acting. We are talking about God here. Apostle, but this is 10 years. No child. And they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come. I've seen people lifted overnight. And frankly speaking, sometimes they've not even understood certain principles. God just vowed with his name. Tonight, I want your faith to be, please, look, listen, you have come before God. This is not a cinema to watch film. You have come with your heart open. I want you to insist tonight. All these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking. But I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life. There is too much death. There is too much death in people's life. Dead organs. Hold on. Listen. There are people here. They can't walk 10 minutes. A young man. 25, 35. You walk 10 minutes, you breathe as if you would die. They go to the hospital and say, Mr. Man, almost everything we see is wrong. You need life, oh. You need life. There are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps, all kinds of demonic things. Satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life. But when his life comes, when his life comes, there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life To draw from you again. Hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. We've come to the road. Okay. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You're in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three, celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided? 
to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run. No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I'm seeing three people in overflow. Three there, and the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people overflow three please quickly there's so much to do there are three people i'm seeing in overflow three outside and the lord is telling me they should be there don't allow your friends stop you i'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the holy spirit is convicting you you're saying i want to come but i'm a bit shy run make your way quickly come and join us come and join us hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we are not talking about a husband or wife. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Please hear me. As you are here, make sure that your decision is genuine. No one condemns you, but I want you to mean it. Please don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for me this night I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life I hand over my life to you from now and forever I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I am a child of God satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace, your power, your mercy upon their lives. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare and declare that from today, you walk in newness of life. I set you free from everything that holds you down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision. Never forget this day. Never forget this day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service. I want you to follow who is waving his hands. Follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you. Have your details. Please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them. Let's make it fast so that they can return back. 
please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly <laughs> hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um i'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we are going to pray uh there are certain cases i want to deal with by myself tonight um any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to match to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um uh, crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah god has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to god's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of god what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you father you have anointed you have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that 
we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, Shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road Shade and promise Benga and um, Femi this overflow and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, then join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus now, in the name of Jesus Christ I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as we worship as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your name. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle, gentle touch, touch is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in Your name. There is healing in Your.
Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit gentle, gentle touch, touch is blowing in this place. I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed, but oppression after oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um... I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, right now from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are, in this congregation i decree and declare right now that the power of god touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand i'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body lord in the name of jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this our mother how long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going down. You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And then, Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow her now. god bless you see let me tell you something brothers and sisters wickedness is very very real very real very very real very very real i want you to lift your voice in one minute and say father judgment tonight pray lift your voice Father, everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open i command it so now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray inside, pray outside. Pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pray. 
Shaka toko 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 kesh. Rekete kete kata bara 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 bas. Mata kato shope kete. Lente preke taba shabara bara 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 bas. Leke ta pros kata bara nda kapras kata bara tosh. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out. 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Braka doso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto preketeli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximal. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. From road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, 
outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online i cross that devil right now that fire is burning that fire is burning every principality every power Shaka -ta 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 -ta. outside mighty deliverances outside from road to road the power of god is setting people free it's time for yokes of captivity to give way it's time for age long captivities to give way Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare. Anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. lift your hands tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance listen the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing coming out from holes anyone here tied by any spirit they come to you in the night to sleep with you fire at the count of three one two three Right now, visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life is destroying any dead. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion. I curse you. I curse your covenants. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome so, Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, 
over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! 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 The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire. And like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you, as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakoto shoprekete baratokosia. Rakato toto ketata. Rakato shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. 
you don't have to touch me just be there's somebody here the yoke of delay is breaking now 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 it's breaking now by the power of the holy ghost breaking now break now breaking now breaking now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a cloud to this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right. Right. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them. Help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? Elisha. You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere. recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but i'm seeing 
a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of jesus never again by the power of the holy ghost please i know it's raining but participate god is touching people i'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back i decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah toy toy what's your name my son name is toy toy i will pray for you i'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family this is this is heavy satanic oppression huh? heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is toying i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command. I use as a point of contact. And pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you towing? My huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is there. Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free. Of your mother. Your mother. Something is leaving your mother. In the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Kai. What is this? Look at I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. 
I'm seeing a sleep. Please, just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. Rakoto soto koto bakarata kodia. Zakata kata kata bata. Rakato soto prekete kata. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, leave her. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Memuna. No, I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, if you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin. We were here last week. But he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. 
I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Physi money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na 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 na. You? Hallelujah. Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were. Wave your hands. Let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out. Come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms. That's not what I'm... This, this is a special, unique, demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor, zero. Breakthrough, zero. Trouble, 100%. Father... In the name of Jesus, change this face. I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liyakata bakanda pratisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze breketekatos. In the name of Jesus, zekata atata suzia. Mante pros kata prande kato liyakata. Jakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata. Reketo sekete kete kete bakata. Mamprato soto bere kete liyakata. Shasesesesekata Maproto Soto Topaka Embriata Sada Siata Shakel Katamas Katabariakato Embre Kete 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 Rekos Kososo Pekete Kata Mebriata Sise Kotosho Pariakata Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate this lady literally sees things she can be here physically it's, you know what they call astral travel she can live not vision live physically this lady i command that wicked spirit in the name of jesus and whatever she sees about you except you are powerful it must happen it's a spirit she doesn't even know why in the name of jesus i'm looking at her and i'm seeing a cat i curse you by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come. You are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift. Let me talk to this, this yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor this is a beautiful girl, but there's no favor in her life. Shato Soto Bakata. Randa Koto Soto Kete Barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. These encounters, supposed encounters, 
has retrogressed your life i hear what i'm saying i have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother where are you from kalaba no obudu obudu cross river obudu cross river i have to pray for you please if i if i didn't call why are you here are you do you know why you are here huh you see your grandmother Kai. there's somebody here hold on all of you see your grandmothers don't laugh you see let me tell you this is not some it's not mockery it's not i'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic please don't get me wrong these are very special strange wicked and demonic issues special strange wicked and demonic issues someone has fallen down there please let the doctors attend to the person make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves hallelujah praise the lord hi you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in jesus name say it seriously in jesus name every affiliation with the dead i curse it now i release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in jesus name do you love jesus you love jesus huh mm -mm. you are not serious with jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um the first thing you need is your relationship i'm looking at you i can't i don't want to embarrass you but you need jesus seriously i love you eh? that's why i'm helping you i love you with all my heart go and meet the who um where's pastor alpha just meet him he will talk with you you need counseling is your own is not just grandmother god just brought you out here to in your destiny is needed please go and see i will talk to you now all of you who are having these issues i'm going to lay my hands on you now when i lay my hands on you i want you to believe there is this strange kai I'm seeing somebody someone appears to you in the night and when he appears to you please don't come out at random as soon as he appears to you your spirit literally starts leaving your body literally as in you feel yourself you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now I have to pray for that person right now I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying the money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now and cost that spirit to you. God. God.
over your life now we're going to be very fast five minutes and we're out of this place please I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the Lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ a new dimension a new level cameraman God is wiping your tears Keep the camera first, wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release the family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus make progress 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 in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus multiply in the name of Jesus Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now, I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare. May the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction. You are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. The yoke of poverty and hardship and lack 
I command it to live your life now. I command it to live your life now. Live your family now. Live your destiny now. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever you are trusting God for as a family, I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life. Strange favor in your life. God has placed his honor upon this ministry. I pray for you from today, anywhere you go, whether they know you or not, I command them to honor you. Believe it, I command honor upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points and we are done. Whatever has made your pace of your life slow, some of you are moving forward, but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Do in one month what you have not done in five years. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life, your prayer life, your fasting life, word life, passion for God, passion for the house of God, right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar. Prayer fire on your altar. Word fire on your altar. Fasting fire on your altar. I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salman and that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.